the Canadian Timber Serenity CTC 2245W with wood heater. Make sure you have the following items. Make sure you have a steady and level platform to build your sauna on. Place down your cradles. Grab your bottom center board with the long part before the groove facing the front and place it on the cradle. Make sure you have the center board hanging 12 inches over the cradle and perfectly centered. Secure it with a 3 inch screw. Ensure it is square and add 3 more 3 inch screws. Repeat the process on the other side. Place three staves on either side of the center board and align the grooves. Place two 3-inch screws partway into each end of the third stave, aligned with the cradle. Don't go all the way through the stave, we will finish screwing this in later. Place the door piece into the grooves. Ensure the logo is on the bottom and facing inward. Tap the bottom until the door is level. Ensure the tongue and grooved sides of the wall are opposite front to back. Repeat the installation process with the back wall. Place the top center stave for temporary support. Install the rear half moons. Ensure the bench support is facing inward. Align the tongue with the groove. Secure with 3 inch screws into the pre-drilled hole on the top and the bottom. Repeat the process with the other rear wall half moon. Now repeat the process with the front half moons. Continue adding staves and secure with a nail on either side. Make sure to align the notch with the pencil line. Once you get past the middle point, nails are no longer needed. 
continue adding the remaining staves to either side. When you reach this point, remove the centerpiece and put it aside. Then add the remaining staves. Wedge the centerpiece with the last stave to create a V-shape. If it doesn't create a V-shape, or there is a gap, then add one of the included spacers to the center piece. Now wedge the new centerpiece with the last stave to create a V-shape. Pre-assemble the end band and place the nut on just enough to hold it together. Place the band onto the front of the sauna. Repeat this process for the back band. Place the band onto the back of the sauna. Ensure the band is two inches from the front all the way around. Lightly snug up the front and back fasteners. Tap out all the staves to even them out. Feed the first center strap over and under the sauna, and secure it with the rod and nut. Ensure it is 17 inches from the front. Snug up the fastener. Now tap down the staves. Continue tightening the fastener while tapping down the staves. Now tighten the rear fastener while tapping down the staves.
give the middle band a final tightening. Now tighten the front band while continuing to tap down the staves. Now place the final band on the sauna and secure it with the rod and nut. Ensure it is centered. Now tighten the fastener. Now finish screwing in the screws we started earlier into the cradle stands. Now place the first floor piece inside the sauna. Now the second floor piece. Ensure they are snug against the front wall. Ensure they are level and secure with eight one and a half inch screws. Next, bring in the benches. Ensure they are snug against the wall. Secure each bench with four one and a half inch screws. Place two one and a half inch screws into the pre-drilled holes on each bench leg. Screw the first leg into the bottom of the bench. Insert a one and a half inch screw into the pre-drilled hole to secure the leg to the floor. Repeat this process for the remaining legs. Install the porch floor and center the middle board with the starter stave. Ensure that it is level. Secure it with four one and a half inch screws. Assemble the porch benches. Ensure the pre-drilled hole is on the leg. Secure with three one and a half inch screws. Place the wall support board on the bench and secure with two three inch screws. Insert two three inch screws into the side to make mounting easier. Place the bench and ensure it is level. Secure it to the wall with the screws inserted earlier. Secure the bench to the floor using a one and a half inch screw into the pre-drilled hole, as well as a three inch screw into the back of the bench. Repeat this process for the second bench.
Install the outer door handle at the desired height. Secure with two 3-inch screws. Install the inner door handle at the desired height. Secure with two 3-inch screws. Install the towel hanger at the desired height. Secure it with four 1.5 inch screws. Install the optional shelf in the desired location. Secure it with two 1.5 inch screws. Now install the optional thermometer. Check where the thermometer mounting bracket lines up and insert a one and a half inch screw. Hang the thermometer on the screw. Now install the optional sand timer. Ensure it can flip without hitting the wall. Secure it with two one and a half inch screws. Now mark the vent hole positions below the bench support board on the back wall of the sauna. Drill out with a two inch hole saw. Only go halfway through to prevent splintering. Finish drilling from the other side. Screw on the vent guard. Repeat this on the front of the sauna. Now screw on the vent board with a one and a half inch screw. Now remove the plastic from your stove pieces. Now screw the handle onto the stove door. Place the floor heat shield and ensure it is centered. Place the rear wall heat shield and secure with six one and a half inch screws. Bring in the stove and ensure the center of the chimney hole is 8 inches away from the wall. From the top center of the sauna, mark 12 inches from the end of the staves. Now mark 4 inches away in every direction from that mark, to rough in an 8 inch diameter circle. Now place the chimney on the marks to trace out a circle or use a scriber.
drill a starter hole for the jigsaw. Now cut out the circle with the jigsaw. Now place the long skinny chimney piece on the stove, followed by the first thick insulated chimney piece and poke it through the hole in the roof. Now on top of the sauna, pull the rubber boot down over the chimney. Mark the outline of the boot. Move the boot out of the way and apply the included roof sealer to the inside of the outline. Now secure the boot to the sauna using the included self-sealing roofing screws. Place the hose clamp over the boot and tighten the screw. Now place the second thick insulated chimney piece over the first and attach the support bracket. Now place the short skinny chimney piece into the thick chimney piece, followed by the cap piece. Now install the thin metal shielding around the chimney inside the sauna to cover the hole. Your assembly is now complete. Enjoy your sauna.